Fishermen and traders at B10, Baubau and Vizadzini Beach are calling upon the government to intervene the matter after unknown people allegedly demolished their businesses in the middle of the night. According to Moses Charo, a fisherman said the range has been going on causing them losses since they cannot sell their catch. He cites no show visitors since there are no longer sheds and any kind of business taking place after the demolition. Weka sisi changamoto ya kuwa paka sisi vile vile tumeregia nyuma. Kwa hivyo ngeomba hii serikali yetu itusaidie kwa hama neno ambawa mentokeze. They say the demolition have rendered them to be jobless since the beaches provide employment opportunities to many jobless youth who relied on the beach to earn a living. Bandari yetu ni ya B10. Bandari hii mekua na mzozo. Angalia hivi ni fitu ambawa vina zozaniwa na watu kibinafsi. Kana kwa hivu hapa hapa kuna faida kwa ajili yao vijana. Sikuwa ni wavuvi ambawa tunaka hapa B10. Sipi hatu mepata faida. Kwa hivyo tunaomba msada kwa hile jambo ambole metendeka. Si zuri la kawaida. Kwa hivyo naomba serikali ingilie kati na fitengo mbali mbali. Dara za serikali zingilie. Liangalie suluhisho la hapa. Ni meathirika kwa sababu tangui ifanyike saizi sinakazi. Mohamed Mweli who witnessed the demolition said more than 30 policemen arrived at the beach armed with a bulldozer and a FH lorry came in the middle of the night sweeping all the structures as he prepared to go fishing. He now asked the government to intervene since the demolition had left a lot of people puzzled. Kwa ni saa sabo siku wali kuja na tinga tinga na FH. Askari wengi sana zidi ya salasini. Yote mwili kwa tumetulia wengine, wengine wako huku, wengine tukukule tumetulia. Sa tukashanga hiyo tingatinga ya nakuja na maskari tuwa meanza tariku vunjeo hiyo nano jiko yetu hapo kwa na hapo. Wameanza vunjeo jiko. Ile tuwa shanga shanga nini? Tome kuja kwa wingi. Eh kuja kuja hapa kuja kuja hapa. Sisi tukwa jikimbiza tukwa enda jika kule kwa hile magome kule kandu kwa jificha kule. Hawa ndo wakajano tingatinga hivyo wakanza kufunjeo banda kubo hapo mbali kwa na jengwa. Waka vunjo waka maliza. Waka watotoku wengine waka vunja vunjo waka maliza. Waka suma waka jako banda nyingine kubwa sasa nye viti nye kila kitu mtumeka po ndani. Sokoni MCA ward Gilbert Peru confirmed the demolitions were illegal since no notice or court order was issued to the traders. Adding that policemen refuted the claims that they were involved in demolition their premises, he gave the police 24 hours to provide names of those involved and the reason behind the demolitions, failure to which they'll stage peaceful demonstration until the issue is addressed. Ajihu haukuwa na notice ya aina yoyote. Polisi walikuwa nasema hawajui ni nani alie sababisha mabumuaji haya. Lakini wale waliokuwa hapa, yu usiku huo, wako wanasema walitazama polisi, kuna vijana ambo pia ilikuwa si polisi, na walikuja wawa katekeleza ubumuaji, uharibifu wa mali. Yale ya naosemekana ni kuwa wako individuals, wanafund watu katha kuleta shida hapa, polisi. Wao kama investigative authority, we are giving them 24 hours. Ifikapo alamisi, asubui, tutaanza maandamano. Tuakikishe tujue ni polisi gani walikuwa hapa. Na demolition ilifanywa kutupitia njia gani. The traders are asking the government to intervene, saying the beaches support people from different trades including fishermen, traders and border borders. Fatma Ahmed, Ibru TV.